I'm Paula, welcome to my studio. Today, I am going to be painting on these little lucky cats. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but I'm really excited about it. So let's start. First things first, I wanted to prepare my canvas. So I decided to spray paint them a solid color and painted the first one black. I already had spray paints in my studio from past projects. So the second one, I just painted this midnight blue and the third one beige, which I didn't even film, sorry. And here's that first cat, all nice and black. I love it already. And I'm thinking, okay, what am I gonna do with you? So I thought black cat night themed. And I started drawing gray stars all over it with my Posca markers. I thought it was gonna be a good idea for the stars to be bigger at the bottom and then smaller as I went up his body. Now I gotta tell you, using Poscas for this project, not the best idea because the cat is so sculptural, it's kind of hard to get a nice line with the marker here. But I'm committed, I'm going for it, but I'm also purposely not going to the front of the cat yet. As I move to the front, yes, it's much harder to get the marker to paint on all of this texture and depth. So what I'm doing is moving some of the markers paint with a little brush and it's helping a bit. But again, I don't think Pascas was the right tool for this transformation. You can see I really need the aid of this brush to get into the crevices of the cat. I have my first layer of stars done and I'm really excited about changing its little necklace or what is that? Uh, the little ball that goes click click click. Well, I was happy to change it into a moon necklace, which is something I have. So I was excited about that and also giving it some golden stars on its face. I wanted the color to be silver, so I'm back again using a marker and moving the paint with my brush. Going over the gold stars on the face with this other marker, the gold paint on this one is just amazing. I love it. I use it everywhere. As my first layer of stars dries, I grab my little cat from her ear and I start drawing in her face. I decided to have her with her eyes closed because she's a night cat, you know, maybe she's dreaming. And she's a sweet and happy cat too, so I'm shaping her nose a little bit like a heart and giving her a smile. She has pleasant dreams. And since she's a lucky cat who beckons things, she's beckoning sweet dreams to you too. Ha. Okay, so now you know why she's more lucky now and how she's so special and her face is done. So I'm moving on to adding more stars onto her body. I did want to layer them up. So my next step is to add a layer of silver stars on top of her to make her even more special. I'm going all over her body and to create a more interesting composition, I am scaling down the size of the silver stars. Once the silver stars were dry, I added a top layer of little gold stars. Again, I'm adding these in a different scale and all over the place to make my composition more interesting and make my little cat even more beautiful. Okay, so after I finished everything, there was so much correcting to do. And a lot of that was because I did use markers and not only because the tip is thick also because the silver and the gold markers take forever to dry and sometimes i would just get impatient and grab my cat move my fingers and have little stains of gold and silver over her so i had to correct those and also at the face i had to take my tiny tiny number zero flat brush and make little corrections for the paint to be only where i wanted it to be another issue i had was that my black marker did not match exactly the spray paint color and i can see the little differences from where I'm correcting and what my base coat was. Correction's done and here's my first little cat and I love her so much. I can't wait to start this one which I never showed you but it was spray painted with beige. Now I learned from the black one that I'm not going to be able to match that color exactly so I decided to give it a whole layer of acrylic paint first before starting on her design. With that done I'm ready to paint this Maneki Neko aka Lucky Cat and the idea I came up with for the second cat is to make it an artsy creative cat. So even though I know what it's holding on its paw is some type of coin, I'm going to turn that into a paint palette. The way I'm seeing it, this is a fellow who enjoys his creative practices and it's not afraid of getting dirty and having paint all over him. So I'm going to start with this pink paint and decided I would do an outline of where I wanted the paint stain to be with a Posca 
at first. After that, I started filling it in with paint. And as I was doing this, I thought it needed to be thicker and have more texture, like more yummy, dripping, I want to eat it type of paint. So I stopped doing that, went to get my glue gun, plugged it in, and while that heats up, I started to transform this little coin into the palette by adding the little hole you poke your finger through. Glue gun's here and it's time to make that yummy dripping paint, so I started to add drips wherever I did my outline, and I also add the puddles of color to my paint palette so it looks like he was mixing the paint himself. I then remove all of these little glue strings or threads and I continue to add more drips to its ear. And now I've decided that this little rascal cat has been painting with his paw, so I'm adding a lot of drips to his paw as well. He's painting a landscape or something and he has all of the paint between his fingers. More paint everywhere, he has some on his knee too. And I simply can't get over how cute the drip effect on his paw is. Now that drip did unbalance his little arm, it keeps going forward too much, so I'm gonna put another stain in the back of his arm, and this little rascal somehow has his tail covered in paint too. Which honestly, I cannot even judge because sometimes I have paint in the weirdest of places. Anyhow, everything is dry now, so it's time to paint the paint stains. Say that two times fast. I'm starting with that first pink stain and I really need my small brush here again to go all over the small details and the edges. Although now I know the corrections are going to be easier because the cat has been covered in like acrylic paint. I'm painting a matching paint puddle to whatever he has on his body on his little palette and I decided I'm going to go and do a rainbow. So the next color is orange. And of course, after that, yellow. And this little cat is not holding his palette right side up, so all of his other paw is now covered in paint as well. Time for the green, and that's what I put on his painting hand. He's a lefty, because remember, he was painting a landscape. So basically, we cut him in the middle of his finger painting. I'm also adding blue to this paw, because he's just in the process, and he's mixing colors with his fingers as he goes. And I love that idea. Time for purple, and after I do the stain, I realize I don't have a purple puddle on the palette, so I go ahead and add that with the glue gun, and while that dries, I start to paint its little bow with my red Posca marker, and using my gold marker to do his little bell again this time. Glue is dry, so I can add the purple stain, and the final stain on his little tail, which I had forgotten to get with the blue. Time to clean up my little mistakes with paint and make it all polished and nice. And onto his little face. And I'm making him really, really happy because he's enjoying his art time so, so much. <laughs> I am enjoying this way too much, believe me. Every stroke I put on this cat, it makes me happier and happier. And here it is. Oh my god, I love it so much. My dogs would be jealous. And this is my art beckoning cat, my Mineki Neko, who brings on collectors and who will bring me luck in my art journey. Love it. Okay, let's come down and onto my last cat. This one was kind of a midnight blue, but again, I'm gonna cover it with a layer of acrylic so I can better correct mistakes later on. All dried up and ready for its intervention, but the problem was I had no clue what to do with this cat now. So I went online and I was searching for the different meanings of the different colors of the Maneki Neko. As always, the internet gave me more than one interpretation, but the blue is supposed to attract dreams to you and also peace, harmony, and happiness to the family members. So I decided to run with the dreams idea, because that's the only idea I had, and start by turning his little coin into a cloud with my glue gun. So I start to add a lot of glue and try to give it the shape of a cloud. And I have to tell you, at this point I'm worried <laughs> because I've gotten so many bad burns from a glue gun before that I'm trying to be really, really careful with with this amount of hot glue. I am timidly testing to see if that's dry and cold now so I can start painting. For this one I did decide to paint the bib and I knew I wanted to use cold colors but I still didn't have a concept or general idea for this cat so I moved on to paint its eyes which I knew I wanted open, its nose, its little bell, its color and I didn't know what to do from there. So I got the glue gun out again and added more texture to the cloud while I decided what to do next. 
didn't know what to do yet, so went ahead and gave my cat some whiskers, painted its size, and finally painted that silicon cloud white. After doing all of those things I knew I wanted to do, I was stuck again. I didn't know what to do to this little cat next. And then my mom suggested that I give it some more color and it gave me the idea to create a rainbow. Now I know this is not the most original idea, but I thought it would be so cute to have a rainbow coming out of the cloud and then wrapping around to its paw. I feel it somehow ties in with the whole idea of dreaming and dreams. So I went ahead and did that and it took forever because I had to go over each color like three to four times. And I also did spend a lot of time correcting each color and correcting his eyes and every little joint between color and black. Final little detail, I added some constellations to its bib because I thought it tied in beautifully with the dream concept. And I am done. Look at him. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I love the rainbow. I love the expression on his face. And I love all three of my cats. These are the three traditional Maneki Neko cats that I started with. And these are my three makeover cats. What do you think? Which one's your favorite? Did you like this idea? I absolutely love this project. And after finishing these, now I know I have tons of ideas of more cats I could create. Hey, and if this gave you ideas of what custom cats I could create, let me know in the comments. Let me know if you like these and consider subscribing so I can create more of these types of videos. Have a great day.